72-year-old Rick Flair has the big flair that he's feeling that is turning up. But is it going to turn up into the ring? Is that a thing? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a new Ric Flair trading photo has added fuel to rumors about his in-ring return, ladies and gentlemen. The 72-year-old, and I got to say, Ric Flair is looking in great shape. He's looking in tremendous shape. I wish I could look that good at 72. Hell, I looked. I wish I wish I looked that good right now, but I'm Sean View. I got the blue eyes. I got all my teeth. That's great. That's good. You know, I'm, I'm sort of in shape. But Ric Flair, just, you know, well, there's that NWA power coming up. That NWA pay-per-view, that NWA extravaganza is going to be coming up. And you got to wonder, is Ric Flair going to train for a match? Is he going to be wrestling? Is he going to go after the NWA world's title? I mean, the shape that Ric Flair looks like he's in in this photo. Again, remember to share, subscribe, smash the bell, and turn on all notifications. Remember to turn on all notifications with that bell next to the subscribe button. Very crucial to the progress and the development of this channel. And then after Raw went off the air, you know Raw, Monday Night Raw? You know, the same show that's called Raw Rewind because it seems like we're seeing a rewind each and every week. Oh, by the way, go check out my Raw review that I just did. And here on the show, here on Show and View, we keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, a subscribe. And uh, if you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a comment. But besides that, viewers, uh, Ric Flair training for an in-ring return. I just don't want the, the old man to, you know, have something terrible happen to him in the ring. Something tragic, something horrible, something bad, something sad. It wouldn't be rad, I'll tell you that. It would be very, very bad. Um, does Ric Flair have any business in a wrestling ring? Listen, I'm, gr I'm, I'm glad that Ric Flair's in great shape. I'm glad he's looking good. I'm glad he's feeling good. But at no time should Ric Flair should be, in, should be in the middle of the ring. I mean, just being a wrestler in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, you know, you're putting your body at, the, at stake. You're putting your health on the line. You know, one wrong move and it's all over. But can you imagine being 72 years old? Anyways, John Cena made an appearance after Raw went off the air. Oh, well, Sean, John Cena wasn't on the show. Yeah, he came after Raw went off the air. And he, you know, got Randy Orton and Matt Riddle to have a hug. They hugged it out, kind of like Kane and Daniel Bryan. That's something else that's a, a, a rewatch, a redo, a rewind. We saw Kane and Daniel Bryan do that five, six years ago. And now we're seeing Matt Riddle and Randy Orton do it. Albeit, it was after the show. It was something special for the fans. It was something cool for the fans. And I give them that. That's awesome. That's cool. That's extravagant. That's fun. That's great. Great. John Cena, you know, cooler heads prevailed once John Cena got involved in this shtick. So, again, viewers and subscribers, we're going to lay it on a little thick here. John Cena comes out and cooler heads prevail. John Cena came out and tried to be peacemaker because we all saw what Randy Orton did. He nailed Matt Riddle with the RKO. And, again, you know, that was vintage. That was classic Randy Orton. And, again, everyone said, oh, well, we saw that coming. That wasn't unpredictable. Well, at least it was classic. It was vintage Randy Orton, you know. At least it was something that, um, well, makes us question, makes us wonder Will we see Orton and Riddle one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam, or will we see them compete for the tag team straps from Monday Night Raw? So viewers and subscribers, as you can see, there's a lot of variables that are going into this, and the fact that John Cena came down and uh, put himself into the situation, well, viewers and subscribers, there ain't no vibration, because here on Show and View Entertainment, there ain't no citations. Remember to share, subscribe, and smash the bell. And your comments and your feedback, should Ric Flair get back in the ring? Should he step back in the ring? Again, yes, Ric Flair is looking better than ever. Well, not better than ever, but maybe he's feeling better than he has in the last 5 or 10 or 20 years. You know, I guess Ric Flair's not going to the alcohol. Um, you know, Ric Flair's training. He's working out. He's taking his vitamins. He's saying his prayers. But hopefully it gets him somewhere. Hopefully it doesn't get, get him in the middle of a ring and wrestling. But Ric Flair did go on record saying that, he never wanted to retire. He never wanted to step out of the ring because that was his thing. Because Ric Flair loves the business. That's what he knows. That's what he loves. That's what he's all about. And I get that. And I dig Ric Flair's passion. Just like my passion to these YouTube videos, viewers. Just like your passion to give me likes, comments, subscriptions, and, uh, you know, all that other stuff. But, uh, yeah, very interesting news. John Cena comes out and helps Randy Orton and Matt Riddle have a hug out after Raw goes off the air. Of course, that happened after Raw went off the air, right? Of course, that wasn't, you know... Something special for the live audience, and I get that. The WWE likes to do this every now and again, and that and that's cool and well and fine and dandy. And, uh, well, show and view is pretty damn handy. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I want from you viewers, you co you subscribers, and you fans is uh, give me your comments, ladies and gentlemen. Ric Flair's return, John Cena, hoping that Orton and Real can be on the same page once again. 
Will Randy Orton think twice about it? Will Matt Riddle be the one? Imagine a swerve. Yeah, imagine this, viewers. Let, let's just think about this. Imagine if it was Matt Riddle that turned on Randy Orton. Okay, okay. And Riddle and Orton, you know, that's going to be a spectacular match. It's going to be an awesome match at SummerSlam. It is going to be stellar if it ma if the match happened. And if the match doesn't happen at SummerSlam, you know it's going to happen down the line. And here's your here's your little thought before I exit out this video. What about Randy Orton goes to SmackDown and faces Roman Reigns? Now, we have seen this match before, but not a lot. We haven't seen that match a lot, right? Let's be honest. Let's be real. Let's be legitimate. Let's be organic. Let's be rich. All right? Let's have that aura. Um, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns. That's if John Cena can't get the job done at SummerSlam. So we're going to see where this all leads to. We're going to see what goes down. We're going to see what's what's in. But, ladies and gentlemen, Ric Flair apparently wants to wrestle again. You know? It is what it is. Um, I, I just, I just, uh, I wish him well. And um, hopefully, hopefully, Ric Flair does the right thing. Ching, ching, bling, bling. Subscribe. Later.